We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full-blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. My movie screen is all up and ready to go, but I just have to move those tables out of the way and move our little couch around, pop some popcorn. It's going to be a fun little Ratatouille movie night. How cute is that? <laughs> Cameron changed our sign again so that it would be appropriate for movie night. I just asked him to put the showing time and the movie and he added to come by and see what's popping. <laughs> so this is going to live over here in our little market. I've got the lemonade lights up. So yeah, I think I will put that right there. And then this will be our little spot for popcorn. Why am I so excited? <laughs> so I've realized I like never show meal planning slash dinner. We are currently right in the middle of exploring food and nutrition in real life. So I figured this is probably a good time to start a little tomato basil pasta with some Italian sausage. And that, my friends, is what's for dinner. And yes, that is green onion on top, not basil. So I'm gonna head out to the garden to get some fresh basil. I have two basil options, friends. I've got my regular basil and my purple basil. Which one should we go for? Let's do both. Both of our basil. They smell so good. Um, I kinda, sorta just got showered and put some makeup on my face and dressed for the night. <laughs> Cause it is the night. I did film a little bit earlier, at least before it got completely dark. Um, of me getting things ready for the night. The kids were out with Brian at the park, which gave me a little time to get dinner all ready and uh, get to get things set up for movie night tonight. So I thought, I felt like vlogging. So here we are. Tell me I'm not the only one that does this, but I feel like if I need to be productive for the night, it's just better if I try to get myself put together because if I showered and got ready for bed, all I would be thinking about is getting in bed. And that's not the goal tonight. The goal tonight is to have fun with the kids, watch a little movie, do a little bit of schooling at night or learning at night, which for us just means a lot of conversation, a lot of reading, um, some writing, and whatever else we decide to get into. Probably mostly like reading and writing. We are watching Ratatouille, which I'm excited about. <laughs> I thought that by just kind of talking through these vlogs, you guys will kind of get a feel for how we do things around here. Um, my planning life, the way we do homeschooling life is very unorthodox, friends. I thought the more I talk through things and walk through things, you guys would get more of a feel for how we like to do things and then chime in and let me know, you know, how you guys like to do things. So I want us to really get into studying more about food and nutrition. That's really what I've been led towards lately and energy sources. Um, which obviously for your body, sources of energy come from food and nutrition. So we're really heavy into the garden for the summer and um, just really exploring that more. I have found friends, I don't know if I'm the only one, that when you're looking up things to teach about nutrition, major deficiency. Um, so I'm really excited to just kind of explore and let one thing lead to another. And again, like I said, this is very unorthodox in that we are starting things off with a little movie <laughs> and we're watching Ratatouille, okay? I needed something that was food related um, and I thought it would be a lot of fun to just start with a movie that we love that has a lot of food in it. I set up all of my little things, books I wanna read tonight, well, this is our book stack, a couple of what I wanna to read tonight. Got my post-its and my markers, my planner, my little gratitude journal, my computer. Basically just trying to set everything up 
because I'd have a better chance at getting work done after the movie is over if things are already set up. <laughs> so as soon as the movie is over and the kids get all cozy and start their reading, I can come in here and see what I can get done. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes from. <laughs> Hey, that, love bug. that looked like a fireplace. It looked like a fireplace? It is a fireplace. No, but I'm saying it looks like a whole different place. Like that back there, it, it doesn't really show. So it looks like it's Christmas time or something. <laughs> I don't know why it's not focusing tonight. Hi. It's not focused, see? Unfortunately, we were supposed Hello. to get started with movie night Hello. and Hello. night school, but Brian you have to go to the took shower. the kids to the park and they spent about three, four hours at the park, which four? means they're tired. No. We were supposed to be having a night full of night school, but my kids are tired, so we'll see how long Something they last. Do with me. Got popcorn. You me? And then whatever little goodies we have. <laughs> hey baby. I'll get you a pillow. Um, so about last night, <laughs> my entire night school plan fell apart and it all started where Brian decided to take the kids to the park for three hours. <laughs> so it was either cancel the movie and move on to night school things or enjoy our movie time and push our reading and writing off to today. So that's what we did. We chose the movie. We went to sleep because we were nice and tired. And so now today I'm trying to get my work in, um, get some reading in because I cannot wait to just sit down on the sofa and cuddle up in bed and read and get some writing in. So that is kind of the plan today, you guys. We're trying to continue this night school thing on in to today. I moved our other sofa back into this room. I like pieces of furniture that I can move around and make it fit for whatever we are doing at any given time. So we had that sofa out in the garage studio space for a while and we had tables here and that was functioning really nicely. But now I wanna switch it around because I want to get out in the studio space and kind of reorganize things and make it a better little space for us to do more art projects, especially through the summer. So now both of our sofas are back in the schoolroom. I need to actually sit down and film a couple of things for the Friends Club. I filmed a few things before where the file got corrupted. Putting in so much work and then having to refilm everything is never fun. So nevertheless, we get it done. Um, I think Savannah and I are going to get into Midsummer's Mayhem, which I'm really excited about that. Uh, Kendall is finishing up Reaching for the Moon. I don't know if you guys remember this, but this is the one and only book that Cameron actually kind of sort of DNF'd. And he decided to come back to it and continue reading it. So he is finishing up All Rise for the Honorable Perry T. Cook. I think he did back up a little bit so he could remember the story a bit more. So I'm excited to see what he thinks about finishing this one up. This is one that I started when we were on vacation in Jamaica and did not get very far. And then I am working my way through this one again. Um, I've already read through the majority of this one, but I started back at the beginning because I liked it so much. And the first time around, I did it audio book style and now I'm trying to go through and really mark things up and take notes but right now I'm gonna walk through Cameron's weekly checklist for next year and I'm gonna grab all of the things that we're using and I'm gonna do a little video on um, our friends club just to kind of walk through it and make up for that and make up for that file that got corrupted and then I'm also gonna sit down and film a little homeschool mom chat I'm um, kind of sort of inspired by this 
a couple of things from this book. Just kind of to talk about like our mindset and mind frame going into planning um, for the coming year. All right, friends, your girl has worked her way through her work for the day. I finished with my friends club filming. I had to, I think I already said this, but I had to like refilm um, some things that got corrupted. It has been a journey. You guys i'm so excited to be talking to you guys again but it has been a challenge i feel like if ever there was things that just kind of got in the way of this whole falco family video creation type of journey it's happened um one of the things being i have been having major trouble with um my hand which is so necessary for filming because the camera that I use is heavy, okay? <laughs> and for editing, um, and it's really starting to bother the functionality of my phalanges, of my hands, of my fingers, of my wrist. And so I'm gonna have to make an appointment um, with the doctor for sure because um, it's becoming extremely problematic. And if I can't use my hand um, very well, it becomes super difficult for me to edit, um, which means that I started to have, I don't know, I just started to dread filming and um, having to edit because it was just so painful. So anyway, I dropped that little piece of information there so maybe you get a little insight as to some of the challenges that have been arising in trying to um, move forward and document this journey of ours. I did get those things off of my list for this morning. Um, the kids are in the other room watching a movie with their cousins via watch party, via FaceTime, <laughs> and it's so cute. They pop popcorn and everything and have their cousins sitting on a little chair on their iPad um, so that they can watch the movie together because that's how we do virtual movie time, okay? <laughs> Anyway, I just finished. Hopefully Brian can help me to um, finish up the edits in order to get them up on our club. Um, so yeah, that's been kind of challenging, but I think it's also made me remember that I need to slow down. Uh, my goal is not to try to keep up with, you know, social media and not to try to keep up with the pace of the world today. Like we have a purpose. And there's no need to rush so i'm so grateful for you guys um those of you who stick around uh that look for us in our little life on the internet outside of the algorithm and uh that's been challenging but it's been okay i've been learning a lot of lessons it's been teaching me a lot of good things um which is just to stay diligent to stay consistent to stay focused on what our goals are um and just keep pressing through so i feel like sometimes your body just tells you even in the weirdest of ways that you need to slow down like you can't edit 18,000 videos a week serena um so between the things that i am editing for the film the things that i try and edit for um, the friends club and the things that I want to edit for this channel it's just been a challenge and it's just been a way that <laughs> forced me um, to slow down and reconsider like what I am documenting and what I am putting out because I just have not been able to um, produce in that way anyway you didn't ask for that update but i gave it to you <laughs> i do need to write tonight and this time i'm going to be blogging and the goal is to blog about ways we are exploring food and nutrition in real life more about how i want to approach that with the kids and how i want to enter this next season of learning um really we're just focusing in on the garden it's our main project for the summer um which always brings all the lessons <laughs> right um, so from the garden, we want to talk more about um, our body, um, food and nutrition as an energy source. Like that's kind of the vibe. That's the goal. That's the vibe that I'm going for right now. So let me stop being rambly so I can get to read it. And look at my green pepper, cucumber, and squash. This is my okra, my watermelon, kale. Savannah's flower garden is thriving. You guys ever find yourself having to go into your kids rooms because there's kind of nowhere else in the house for you so i've got my book um i like to if i can find it on 
audiobook. It's been helping me to focus and not get as distracted as often. If I can find a book on audio and I listen to it, especially if I like the narrator. So I've spent 2.5 seconds reading. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm one of those people that would love to have like a 24 hour readathon situation going on, but yeah, that just doesn't happen. The kids come in, they ask questions, they need this, they need that, they want some conversation, and I love to give it to them, but I also want some time to read. This is kind of sort of why we ended up with so many pockets of reading time in our school day, because when they're reading, that's the perfect time for me to read. But when they're not reading, it's just a lot going on. I did make my way through a few chapters, a few more chapters of With the Fire on High, and I am really enjoying it. This is new for me. This is my second, like, not a middle grade book that I have read, <laughs> which feels like in life. Um, but I'm enjoying it. It's harder for me to stay focused in on um, more young adult, adult-ish related things. Um, it is a lot easier for me to engage with a book when it's like middle grade-ish and below. And I feel like that's really telling about myself. Um, I feel like I've been so immersed in homeschool life at their kind of sort of at their age level that I haven't been giving myself enough like adult-ish time if that makes any sense I don't even know why I got to that right now but that's where we are anyway so I feel like I'm learning a lot about myself while I'm trying to focus in and read something different from my norm I love my middle grade but this has been like very telling reading along and listening on audio and I'm really enjoying that experience right now it is read by the author and I am just loving like her accent I'm loving her cadence really interesting because I feel like the way I read as a mom and a teacher is very different from the way I want to read as a whole adult. I, I find myself like taking a moment when there is a curse word, when there is subject matter that's more adult-ish and it shouldn't be that way because I'm a whole adult and I have every bit of what I need to be able to filter through information but I think because I'm always looking through that lens when I'm looking for you know content for the kids to be able to consume like I still have those glasses on like I still have those lenses on I think that really speaks to like this culture of homeschool life where everything has to be so like squeaky clean and I get that because you want um, wholesome you know things uh, for your children but at the same time as we move along in life it's important for us to be able to make them aware of the not so beautiful parts of life that's definitely something I don't speak on as much because I know that um, you know the homeschool community is very much so into everything clean everything wholesome but that's just not life um, and I have thoroughly enjoyed going through the process as they are getting older and you know having the privilege of being able to expose them to different things in a very gentle manner but i don't know that's a whole thing and probably a topic for another day but it's just something that i kind of came across while reading i noticed i was trying to censor certain things which i don't need to do right now because i'm an adult reading i'm not reading you know pre-reading for them so if you guys go through that I would love to hear what you think about it um, the difference between you consuming resources whether it's books or movies like as homeschool mom as homeschool teacher compared to you consuming books and movies as an adult who is fully capable of you know uh, discerning what is okay for you to consume or not does that make sense anyway I had to stop make some lunch gonna have to figure out dinner
so the good thing is that the second book that I have um, Midsummer Mayhem is a buddy read with Savannah so that means I will actually be able to get in a bit more of this tonight when we like cuddle up in her bed and read this together this one is checking for picture mail because she is a new big Cousin. He's so cute. Yeah. One of the reasons why I'm not getting much reading done. <laughs> In efforts to document a little bit more of my dinner making <laughs> tonight, I completely forgot about um, what I was supposed to make for dinner. Um, so I looked at what I had and this is what we're having. So Cameron actually already ate because he has a seafood allergy. So. Um, he had already eaten some leftover um, tomato basil pasta, so um, I'm, I'm going to make some salmon cake. I'm going to make some salmon cakes for the rest of us. So I've just got some salmon in there. Um, I chopped up onion, some green onion, some eggs, some oats, some flour, a little bit of breadcrumbs, and some with a little steamed broccoli and some rice, and call it a night. It is end of day, and I'm tired. I actually enjoyed vlogging today. Y'all, this creative business of mine has been a whole journey. I'm just trying to focus on what matters, but also do good business so that this whole thing is sustainable. Can I just say that I'm so proud of myself? <laughs> I'm proud of myself because I have stuck to what my goal has always been, which is to focus on what matters most. And, um... It's been really challenging. Some of those things I've shared here, the majority of those things I haven't really shared because this is my actual life and um, I get to decide what um, I share with the whole internet world and what is better kept and worked on in private. And I love that for me, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but uh, right now the kids, just headed off to the park. I feel like I really didn't get them in as much as I thought I was going to. I'm trying to give them the freedom of summer fun. Um, so if they want to spend time, you know, uh, doing virtual watch parties with their cousins, then that is what they're gonna do. I'm excited to get writing while the kids are away. So let me do that and stop talking to y'all. But I embrace that bodice. having all of the thoughts and considerations and ideas and feelings about exploring food and nutrition and learning all the lessons um, from the garden to so much more. Writing is really just going to help me just however messy it may seem just kind of get it out. So I'm trying to start with like four really good bullet points that have been kind of circling around in my heart and mind when it concerns food and nutrition and how like I just feel like it's so incredibly important and doesn't get as much um it doesn't get the attention that it deserves in the education realm this may be a one month unit study this may be a three month unit study this may be a study that lasts all year or however long it takes the goal is to learn the lessons and for them to enrich our lives so thanks for hanging out with me today um remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always above all else is to live and to learn bye don't forget to subscribe